There's some barreled armors we're reflashing. Showing some details here on these. Um, here you can see water can blow, blow into this corner here. Um, the standing seam's not double locked, it's got rivets in it. It's snipped every few inches and caulked. Um, this piece was just slid over the standing seam uh, onto some, some caulk. The panels lap. Um, there are rivets. Um, this is uh, stainless, turn coated stainless, but then there's aluminum step flashing. Um, the ends aren't finished nicely like they could be. Paint, obviously, chipping, um, peeling off. Uh, up top here, where there's kind of a, a valley, um, they just slit numerous times and tarred. Um, you can see some of the caulk here under the slate. As soon as, as, soon as the caulking fails, uh, this barrel dormer would be leaking. There are numerous issues with this uh, technique used. That one we ripped off already. Um, this one we are in the process of ripping off and installing new 16 ounce half hard copper. Um, and trying to do all the techniques properly. Uh, front of the apron here, another issue. Um, it looks like the apron is short. Um, you can see this row of slates should come down about over here. So this apron should have come down to meet this row of slates. Um, it's probably a headlap issue here. And I'm not sure how they finished these corners off. I don't think they soldered. Um, so it probably just lapped and caulked over here. Um, I have my apron, a uh, double lock sweep seam. Um, it's got some straps holding the front of the apron down. Maybe see it better from this way. And I got the step flashing running up. And we're getting ready to uh, put the standing seam copper on and the corner here and a continuous valley piece. So I will uh, take some video once we have some copper on. Here we are stretching some pans with the stretcher. for these barrel armors on this house here. We got the stretcher on the left side, the shrinker on the right. The trick is to make multiple passes with the stretcher so you don't tear the copper. We got Dominic here stretching away. We do, we do one pass, maybe two passes on one side, then we go to the other side and do a pass or two. Um, the male side stretches a little slower than the female side. This is 20 ounce <coughs> cold rolled copper. See the curve forming. We got a pretty tight radius up there. We got it marked out on our plywood sheet here. I don't know if you can see it, but it swoops around here. So uh, after a few passes on the stretcher, we lay our piece of copper on here and we see how close we are. And we always work from one side of the curve up.
Is I put a drip edge on so water can't blow under here. Um, the seams, instead of being riveted, uh, they are actually uh, locked together. Um, instead of a cut standing seam, they cut it about every inch and then uh, smeared caulk on it and then put a cap on it. Um, instead of doing that, we actually stretched the copper and uh, locked it together. Uh, the, the uh, panels lock onto the step flashing. Uh, this is a sweep seam. It's kind of hidden under here. Um, there's no caulk or solder. Um, here's apron. It's got uh, cleats or uh, straps instead of nails. Um, continuous valley piece, pleated valley, uh, seamed together at the top. Um, they had a valley that was cut. Uh, it, had slots cut in it um, up under the slates and they just put ice and water shield and, and tarred it uh, together. So this is a huge improvement over uh, what was here uh, previously. <laughs> 